Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be touring the island of Fog Harbor. Fog Harbor is a murder mystery island and it was made by Arden Crossing. Arden is absolutely fantastic at creating islands. I know you've seen me tour a bunch of them in the past and most of them are really beautiful and natural. This one is a little bit different. It's a little bit of a whodunit. So we're going to run around and try to figure out who done it while we tour this, I'm pretty sure, gorgeous island. Let's go see what we're in for. Okay, right away there's someone walking at the entrance. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure about approaching them. Oh, okay. So we know who the victim is already. The victim is a bear cub. And let me see, there were things at the entrance. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the presents. Okay, so we were given this spiffy, oh so appropriate outfit to wear. I feel like I need to walk like a little runway. Instead, I'm walking a wooden plank. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna make my way back to resident services since that's where we all start on the dream address. And we can go ahead and go from there. Wow, this road is really cool. And the fog is just so eerie. Whoa. All right. We're going to come right over here. So this is Resonance Services. Resonance Services looks really cool. Like the trees, the fog, everything looks really pretty here. I shouldn't say pretty, right? Knowing what this island is. But it's totally fine. Now there's a map that comes with this island. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen right now. Okay, so here's the map of Fog Harbor. Fog Harbor, Harbor is obviously a crime scene. There appears to be a laboratory um, on the top by the peninsula, which is definitely a place of interest that I'm gonna wanna go look at. There's a coven meeting, which is always really interesting. The dream address is here if you want to go and check it out for yourself. There's a doctor's office towards the front. There's presence by resident services, so you can look like a cool little detective like me. There's a cemetery, a grave digger, the crime scene. There's a farm, some random visitors in the back, and I don't know what that's about. A totally normal house. I don't know what that means, but I feel like we need to look at it. There's a shopping district, a fish market, and another port over on the right-hand side. So. Let's go see what this island has in store for us. So the map said that there was something that we should look for right over here. Oh my goodness. So it appears that we have our crime scene right over here. This looks like the person that was walking around the island um, in chalk outline form, of course. Uh, and there's evidence letters and it looks like they left the murder weapon here and there's blood. Um, someone ripped a pro down the police tape over here and I'm not sure why. Of course, any rational person's gonna wanna go inside the house if they come across the crime scene, right? So this looks like an episode of Stranger Things in here. It really does. Okay, so she has Fred and Louie in here, the pet roaches, and um, it looks like there was a lot going on in here. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like they never got a chance to take their car. That's, you know, it happens, especially if you have like a murderer chasing after you. And here we have the first villager's house. This looked on the map like it's somewhere near the coven. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and see what there is. Oh, it's Nan. Look at how pretty this house is. It is so pretty. She did leave a note that the interiors were something that really did need to be investigated. Oh, this the inside of this house is beautiful. Oh, well, that got dark fast. What are they doing in here? Well, I don't know if she's an unfriendly or a friendly witch. I don't know. I happen to like witches. So I don't know. Maybe my bias might be skewing me to believe that she is innocent okay nan don't prove me wrong okay we're gonna head this way i didn't see any like blood or anything like that in her house so 
kind of leads me to believe that she's safe. Now this is apparently another witch's house, uh, judging from the candles and the book. Not that every witch has candles and books, but you know, a lot of them do. But this right next to the house kind of screams witchcraft to me. Very cool. Let's go see what is at the back of the island. And also, can I just say this eerie, like foggy natural decor is everything right now. It's so cool. Oh, hey, Rolf. There's a face I don't recognize. Please to make your acquaintance. Oh, well, that's a cute thing to say. So here we have a little, it looks like an abandoned storefront almost, right? I'm going to continue going up right here. Should I worry about any of this stuff? I'm not exactly sure. But let's go up here. This appears to be a laboratory. Oh my goodness. What are you doing in here, Petrie? Ma'am. Hey. Leave. Well, I don't care what you do to her. But leave pumpkin guy alone. Do you see that pumpkin in my head? He is innocent. You? I don't know if you're so innocent. I am not feeling entirely confident about Petrie, our friend here. Um, she seems a little sus. Okay, here's Hamfrey. I don't know if Hamfrey did anything, but I'm obviously I'm not going to get his house into his house today. But somebody else is home, so let's check in here. Oh, it's Boomer. Boomer's a cutie. His house is so grungy. I wonder why. Look at his back window. He is holding everyone's soul in his backyard. What? What's going on, Boomer? Otherwise, I don't really see anything of interest. Yeah, I don't really see anything in here except that I'm maybe a little concerned about where he's sending the souls after. Okay, so I think that took care of that side of where we can get to. I'm going to go around to the other side and I will meet you over there. Through the magical powers of editing, we are back on the main road. And here we are coming down towards this area over here. It looks like there was a wood chopping station over here. Maybe you could buy wood. I don't know. And we have Roswell back here. I don't know if he's a person of interest, but it'll be interesting to find out. It appears the doctor's home, but let's be real. Do we want to go to this doctor? Like, what in the heck kind of torture device is this? And he keeps the bodies in his front yard. I'm not sure about this doctor. Of course I had to come into his house anyway. Here's where you talk to a secretary. This really looks like every single like uh, Twilight Zone episode. Have you guys ever seen the Twilight Zone? That's what this reminds me of. Um, why are the walls talking? What's with the smoke coming out of everything? Oh, man. <gasps> okay. I don't know what he's doing in here, but I'm going to stay away from this little one, too. He's definitely on the suspect list. All right, Rattle, we'll be watching you. Okay, so I'm going to go across this river right here. And I don't know if you guys have seen this, but look how beautiful this river mouth is. If you're ever wondering what to do with your river mouth, just terraform it. Look at how pretty that is. That's absolutely gorgeous. If we come this way, we have made it over to the harbor. And the campsite lives over here. The campsite's really cool. I love that. I also love the edge of this water path. That's really neat. And I like this little... What is this? It is the, the field sign thing. That's really cool. Wow. All right. I see you. It really does feel kind of like an item, right? Look at that. That's so cool. It appears that the fisherman is at home. So let's go see what's going on in there. Okay, so we're in the fisherman's house. He is a submarine. So I guess that's fitting, right? 
and there's nothing much going on the in here except for the walls like what's up with the amount of cobwebs on this island also excuse me sir where have you been where have you been going excuse me Del where'd you get all this you know there's no lowly fisherman that's supposed to have all of this what are you selling fish for why don't you sell this Okay, so we can add Dell to the suspect list because you don't get all that stuff, like, for no reason or no way, right? Here we have, um, I guess where they're selling the fish. This is a little fish market. Very cute. And we have a port going on over here. And I'm going to make my way back this way. And it looks like Nook's Cranny is a biohazard warning. I don't know what the heck is growing in there, but we should probably um, stay away from it. And I that better be fish guts on that cutting board. That's all I got to say. The Able Sisters is also closed for business. So um, business does not look to be booming in this town. I am going to follow the sign, which is telling me to go in this direction. Okay, so we have tent blathers over here. Very cool. There appears to be a lookout point. So I'm going to go ahead and get a peek at that. Oh, wow. Look how cool that is with the lighthouse in the distance and all of the trees. Wow, that's really neat. She did a really great job with that overview right here. So this island is really cool. I really like the way it's decorated and it's so quaint and there isn't a ton of decor. Like it's not overly cluttered like the way I tend to do things, but it's so pretty and it's in the way it's done and the details and the custom codes used here are so cool. I love this fake building right here. And I like this little abandoned building over here. That looks really neat. And all of these little touches add so much to the island. There is a cemetery behind resident services. And I think I should go over there. Here we are. I know I shouldn't be talking about how pretty this is, but the, it is really pretty though. Look at this with the sky and the way the fence is and all of the layering. It's really beautiful over here. Wow. It's so pretty. Excuse me, this is not in the cemetery? Who is digging graves outside of the cemetery? Wow. Excuse me, who's this? Rolf. I need to come back, I think, and look for... Hey, I didn't realize the proximity between the crime scene and this grave right here. Those are really close together. Wow. All right. That's sus. And then back here, it appears we have a farmer. He's also not home. He has an, a wheat field back here. Oh, and he has uh, visitors. So these are the visitors on the map. Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. All right. Um... Yeah, I could see how they'd make it onto the map. Okay, since so much of this requires us to find the villagers or like to go visit the villagers, I'm going to go ahead and wake up and come back in and see if I can catch more villagers at home. I want to go in this house first. Why is the bucket sweating? Oh, no. What? Is crawling over there? And why? <gasps> oh gosh. That's, that's not, oh, is it you? Oh my gosh, I don't like, I don't like her. She's already not my favorite. Okay, so upstairs it looks like somebody got very curious and they're trying to put together the pieces of this case. And I'm guessing the girl down there is who paid for all of this investigating. Oh, wow. Or maybe she's the one watching over to make sure you don't investigate anymore. Okay, so let's go and see who is home. Oh, look at our resident representative. She's super cute. Let's go talk to her. 
Don't trust anyone in town. Okay, all right, friend. I will not be trusting anyone in town. All right, the doctor is still home. I still don't want to talk to him. Yep, we're, we're still, you know, Rolf is still running around. What is going on, Rolf? Oh, Rasher. Oh, Nor, why? You know, those don't look like fish pieces. All you guys sell here is fish. What is that? Ugh, okay. What's going on? Do I want to turn this camera? I probably don't. Let's, let's just see. What? Oh, wow. Okay. All right, sir. There appears to be a sign. There's like a never-ending well right here. That would be um, the farmer's house. We haven't gone in here yet. So let's check out the farmer. Okay, so... I mean, for the most part, it looks really pretty and kind of harmless here. He has some pictures on the wall. I don't know if those mean anything. I think they're more like he's showing a bit of an alien obsession um, going on here. Like he's got some sus photos on his wall, but not sus in the unaliver way. Although he does seem to think that the crime scene is tied to the visitors in his backyard. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about his theories. Okay, you guys, this is going to conclude my tour. I'm going to leave it right here with a pretty open end. I don't exactly know who did it at this point. I am going to spend more time looking for the Unaliver. Tell me your take on this island. I'll leave the dream address down in the description below, along with a way to reach Arden Crossing, who is absolutely phenomenal. I want to thank Arden for allowing me to share and tour your island and Thank you for spending your time with me. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for a little of your time and I appreciate you so, so, so much for that. Let me know what you think of this island. Let me know who did it if you find out. I probably, after five or six hours, might harass the creator of this island and see if I can get like the inside scoop on who did it and I might not share that. So if you're seeing this in the future, let me know if you figured it out on your own. I hope you have an amazing day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.